Here at WJZ, it's important to us that we connect with you in your community and highlight everyday heroes who are doing the work to make our city a better place. So we ask you to share your community MVPs with us. So this week, Tori Smith was in Northeast Baltimore on Echodale Avenue, and he has the story of Coach Antoine and the East Side Raiders. It's going to be a tight week this week. Are y'all with me? Yes, Coach. Just seeing the kids smile and, and, and say thanks and just got to stay focused outside of practice. Call me that C name, Coach, is, is so inspiring to me. Are y'all with me? Yes, Coach. Let's face, no face mask. Shoulder, shoulder. So, Coach Swan, it's football season. We're right next to your home field here. Everyone's talking about the Ravens. But we know that you football is a big deal in this city and really all across the country. What does it mean to you? To have your own organization, the Eastside Raiders. Man, it means a lot, man. It's like, it's like Christmas this time of year. I'm from the Park Heights community, and like making it out, it's like survival, man. I always had the, the power to help folks. I just love giving back. My heart is pure for the kids, and I right, stay low. This is the best feeling a coach, a young guy, can ever experience. Well, next four, next four. Football was my first love. I always wanted to coach a sport and play a sport that I could set. really get everything that was built up in me out some time and. You can just get everything out of you, you know, on the field, and then it's like a brotherhood, you know. But what a lot of people don't talk about when they see these youth organizations, they see the kids playing ball, but they don't realize it takes money to get the equipment. Some of the kids can't afford to sign up and pay their registration fees. What are you guys doing to really keep that afloat? Well, I was that kid at one point in time. I was the kid that looked outside the fence and watched everybody else play because I couldn't afford football. We have popcorn fundraisers. We just did a fish fry that was very successful. We got to do leg work. Eastside Raiders is 90% built and funded by Coach Twan. Where the drive? Where the drive? Fundraisers. That's that's pretty much how we, we built Eastside Raiders. Where you block? Let's go for Eastside County. Ready? 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 Ready. 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 Took on a part-time job 24 hours a week and all proceeds go to the organization. I just can't see myself folding the program up because of funds. Ready. So if I got to be the leg work, that's what I have to do. So where can people learn more about what you guys are doing and how can they support the Eastside Raiders? You can go to esryouth.org. Um, we also on social media, IG and all of this stuff. Um, or you can just come, come in the area, come through, come see what we're doing. You know, I teach my kids, um, we work to improve, not to impress. Dear Lord, Dear Lord help, me help me fight until I can't fight no more. Just giving them little words they can go by and, and uplifting them every day. Never let me give up. 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 We are! Yeah, and hopefully it, it works. All right, Coach. Well, we know there are more community MVPs out there. We would want you to let us know about them so that we can feature them here on WJZ-TV. Uh, we want to highlight the great work they're doing to make Baltimore City a better place.